I'm Stormy, otherwise known as Plant Based Storm. Welcome to my channel. So, today we're actually converting a recipe by a dear family friend, and it is dirty rice. And so, this is a southern staple and something that we all love down here. So, we haven't had that in quite a while and I was really wanting some dirty rice and this would be an excellent side to bring with you to Thanksgiving or Christmas or even just to have um, for dinner which is what we're doing tonight and it'll pair well with just like some steamed greens or a salad and I'm also posting a lot of things on Instagram um, and Facebook. Whenever I post on Instagram, it automatically posts to Facebook. So if you want to follow me in one of those places, you can find me at Plant Based Storm because sometimes I post things that I'm not actually putting up on my YouTube. So check that out and let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and add in two diced onions and one diced bell pepper and cook that in a hot skillet. Um, and then while this is cooking, we're going to go ahead and add in some spices. This is a homemade sausage seasoning blend. You can buy store-bought, but what I could find was too high in sodium for us. So this is what I used. It's half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, three teaspoons of paprika and a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, which you can just use the other half teaspoon of regular paprika if you don't have the smoked and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, which is optional, but it gives it a nice spicy flavor and one and a half teaspoons of sage. And don't worry, I'm going to add all of this to the description box so that you can have the recipe if you want to make this. So just cook the onions and bell pepper until they are nice and tender. And then this is diced portobello mushrooms. And I ended up using six of the large caps. So if you um, can find the large caps, it's easier. Otherwise, I would probably use two to three eight ounce packages. You really want a lot of the mushroom in this because this is going to be what gives it its meaty texture, which is important in dirty rice. And so you're just going to let this cook down, mix it all in really well and let it cook until all of the water cooks off. I'm adding in one cup of cauliflower that I steamed and then pureed with a half a cup of vegetable broth. This is just going to replace the cream of mushroom in the original recipe and add the creaminess that we're looking for. So once that's all mixed up, then go ahead and add in one cup of steamed cooked rice and mix that in well. And whenever you get it all mixed up, it's time to transfer it to a baking dish. And then put it in a 350 degree oven and let this cook for 30 minutes and take it on out. Now, since I actually converted this in real time, it was a little bit wetter than what I like a dirty rice to be. You could totally eat it like this, but I decided it needed a little more rice and a little more fluff. So I go in there with my fork and fluff this up and then I add in another cup of cooked rice and it is just perfect and delicious. So you can either do the two cups before you put it in the oven or do it just like I've done here. Either way, it's going to turn out great and we all absolutely loved this so much. It really hit the spot. I usually add a nice big dash of red pepper to mine whenever I make my plate. 
So that's how I decided to convert the dirty rice. And that was kind of like in real time. So um, if you have a recipe that you love and it's something that you can't have since you've gone plant-based and you need to change it up some, don't be scared to get in there and be creative because this all just came right out of my head. I was like, how can I make this work? And sometimes that's just what you've got to do. So like I said, if you have a recipe that's a favorite of yours, I encourage you to get out there and try it. If you like this recipe, don't forget to share and subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching.